I'm going to create a lab view program. We'll call it lab view button, similar to the Arduino button program and also similar in purpose. We'll use this lab view program to drive our 120 volt AC light bulb. Start lab view. We'll select the latest version, LabVIEW 2012. We'll create a blank VI. VI stands for Virtual Instrument. Each LabVIEW program comes with a front panel and a block diagram. If I tile left and right, I'll see the front panel on the left and the block diagram on the right. All I want on the front panel is a switch, a virtual switch. If I right click and select push button, put it on the front panel, it automatically comes with an object corresponding to it on the block diagram. Notice that Boolean is highlighted. I'll give it a name like light switch. On the block diagram, I select the mechanism that allows a voltage to be written in the, in the um, terminal block so that it can drive the electronics which will drive the light bulb. That mechanism is called a DAC assistant, data acquisition assistant. If I select it and place it on the block diagram, there's some configuration required. I'm going to generate a signal with this DAC. If this is going to be an analog signal, an analog voltage signal coming out of this is going to be an analog output signal out of channel 0. My minimum voltage will be 0. My maximum voltage, 10, is OK. Reference single-ended and one sample on demand. And that completes the DAC configuration. Whatever number is fed this input channel will come out as voltage in the terminal block. I need this guy. To be driven by my light switch. It connects in the middle. Right click the upper input create constant 5. Right click the bottom input create constant 0 is fine. Left click left click completes the block diagram program. When the light switch is pressed a 5 will be selected and sent to the data acquisition VI and 5 volts will show up at the output. If I deselect the switch then 0 will be sent to the DAC assistant and 0 will show up in the terminal block. This completes the program. To run the program I press this. Notice that it ran once and quit. I don't have any mechanism for repeating, but I want one. So I'll right click in the block diagram and here select a while loop. Left click, drag and stop. That's a while loop. And so everything within that loop will execute uh, forever until the stop switch is pressed. So now when I press 
the run VI. The VI is running. This program is executing over and over and over again very fast so that when I press the light switch, then five volts will go out to the um, terminal block. Deselect it, zero goes out. And to stop the VI, I can press that button. This will demonstrate the lab view button program. I've made the virtual button larger so we can see it better. We see the voltmeter that's monitoring the output voltage from the terminal block. The lab view program is not running currently. Press this and it runs. The lab view program is now running. Press the light switch virtual button and 5 volts shows up at the output. Press it again and 0 volts shows up. 5 volts, 0 volts. Stop the LabVIEW program.